Hey everybody, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. here. I'm reaching out to you about an important matter called ballot access. Because I'm running as an independent candidate, we have to tackle the massive challenge of getting on the ballot in all 50 states. That means collecting millions of signatures, which is gonna end up costing us about $15 million. That's a cost that the two-party candidates don't have to bear because they're automatically on the ballot. I'm actually thrilled to meet this challenge because it allows us to showcase our people power in action. Last quarter, thanks to your extraordinary support, we outraised both Presidents Trump and Biden in individual campaign contributions. And if you've been reading the newspapers, you know that my favorability ratings are much higher than either of these candidates. I already have enough national support to qualify to be on this stage for the presidential debates which means voters will finally have another choice outside of the corporate-controlled unit party. Americans want more options, and with your help, we can make that happen. Your donations right now are going to go directly to our ballot access mission. Whether it's $5 or $20 or $100, every dollar you give gets us one step closer to taking back the White House. When I do that, everything is going to change. If you like this video and you want to help me become president of the United States, go to Kennedy24.com and donate now. It used to be the Democratic Party opposed censorship. It was the Democratic Party that wanted to rein in the military and the CIA. It was the Democratic Party that fought corporate influence. Remember when Wall Street and big corporations all supported the Republicans? Well, who is the liberal now and who is the conservative? Who is the left? Who is the right? These labels make less and less sense. And out of habit, we still group ourselves around the empty husks of those old alignments and threadbare ideologies. But now that habit is breaking down. That's why half the electorate no longer identifies with any political party and 63% of Americans want an independent to run for president. Of course, the outer structures of the party still dominate, dominate the political landscapes, but they're hollowed out from within like a building full of termites. What kind of new political structures might emerge from those ruins? What is politics gonna look like when it's no longer us versus them? American democracy should be more than just picking between two candidates anointed by shadowy institutions. Big oil funds the Republicans. Big tech funds the Democrats. Big pharma and the military contractors make sure to give to both. Instead of two parties, we have this kind of uniparty, a, a two-headed monster that's constantly bickering with itself as it leads us all over a cliff. And, and at the bottom of that cliff is the destruction of our country. Because I'm independent of the military contractors, I'll be able to pursue a foreign policy that puts peace and diplomacy first. And because I'm independent of wealthy donors, I'll be able to close the loopholes and giveaways that bloat our budget. And because I'm independent of Wall Street, I'll be able to rescue debtors instead of the banks or in the next financial crisis. And because I'm independent of big polluters, I'll be able to clean up our soil, our water, our air, and protect our Purple Mountains majesty. When John Adams put his pen down, after adding his signature to the declaration, he turned to those present and he said to them, sink or swim, live or die, survive or perish, from this day on, I am with my country. I'm gonna make that same pledge to you today so that I can stand before you as every leader should stand before you, free of partisan allegiance, free from the backroom deals, a servant only to my conscience, to my creator, and to you. We are determined as the American people 
to go back and reach that promised land again. And I do know what it looks like because I've had glimpses of it during my lifetime. I know it's an America with a prosperous middle class where if you work hard, if you play by the rules, uh, you can finance a home, uh, you can raise a family, uh, you can take a summer vacation, uh, you can put something aside for your retirement where we don't have to choose between economic prosperity and environmental protection where our children will have the same opportunities for dignity and enrichment and good health as the communities that our parents gave us. I know it's a place where every American enjoys the right to vote and everybody has absolute faith that our electoral system has integrity and it's the best in the world, which is a bastion for the rights that are enshrined in our Constitution. And I know that that promised land is a place where America is a moral authority around the world, that people look to us for leadership, that it's a place that promotes peace instead of war. And I know that America is possible when we declare independence from the deadlocked party establishment. That is the America that's possible when we declare independence from the war machine that devours a trillion dollars a year. That's the America that is only possible when we stop fighting each other and go over the fortress wall. And, uh, and that's the America that I'm going to serve when I become President of the United States. If you like this video and you want to learn more about me and the movement that we're building, please go to Kennedy24.com. I'm here to declare myself an independent candidate. <laughs> an independent candidate for President of the United States. But that's not all. I'm here to join you in making a new declaration of independence for our entire nation. I declare my independence. Today's the day I declare my independence. I declare my independence. Let's go, Kennedy. I declare my independence. 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 What is your relationship and uh, what is your understanding of God? Who is God? Most philosophers would say well, we're inside the mind of God um, and so it would be impossible for us to understand actually what God's form is. And so then the question is how do you start believing in something that you can't see or smell or hear or touch or taste or acquire with your senses? And Jung provides the formula for that and he says act as if you fake it till you make it. And so that's, you know, what I started doing. I just started pretending there was a God watching me all the time and kind of life was a series of tests. And each, there was a bunch of moral decisions that I had to make every day. And if I make a whole bunch of those choices right, I maintain myself in a posture of surrender, which keeps me open to my higher power, my, to my God. And when, that, when I do those things right, so much about addiction is about abuse of power. All of us have some power, whether it's our, you know good looks or whether it's connections or education or family or whatever. And there's always a temptation to use those to fill, fulfill self-will. And the challenge is how do you use those always to serve instead God's will and you know the, the good of our community. And that to me is kind of the struggle. And when I do that, I feel God's power coming through me and that I can do things, I'm much more effective as a human being. That gnawing anxiety that I lived with for so many years, and my God, it's gone. And that I can kind of like put down the oars and hoist the sail, and the wind takes me. And I can see the evidence of it every day of my life. If you like this video and you want to learn more about me and the movement that we're building, please go to Kennedy24.com.